Ukrainian forces are trying to stabilize the lines, and Russian mindless zombie attacks are really helping. This is a breakdown of a Russian mechanized column near Novomikhailivka. Here you can see how they're being covered with artillery, yet they keep advancing in an open field within artillery range. What kind of battle tactics is this? I just don't understand. During the Ukrainian counteroffensive, we witnessed one disastrous attack like this from the Ukrainian side. Russian propaganda exploited that footage for months. However, Ukrainians abandon such tactics, while Russians continue them daily. I don't believe they aren't learning. They simply have an endless supply of weapons and manpower. Human wave attacks are the easiest solution for the corrupt Russian command. The end result is one destroyed tank and three infantry fighting vehicles. And Katerov is always fun to watch. If 5,000 airplanes invaded our territory at the same time, we would shoot them all down at the push of a button. That's how powerful our air defense systems are, says the Chechen warlord. Then, two drones with a five-meter wingspan flew 1,200 kilometers into Russian territory. And this is interesting. The Crimean Bridge is scheduled to be destroyed in the first half of 2024. Its destruction is inevitable, said the main Directorate of Intelligence of Ukraine official in an interview with The Guardian. He added that the head of the department, Budinov, already has most of the resources to complete this task. Well, interesting times ahead. The U.S. Secretary of State and the Ambassador to NATO. While we support Ukraine right to defend itself, we are against Ukraine striking Russian territory. Another example of the strategy of supporting Ukraine to fight with one hand tied down. Thank you, John. Let me take the uh, second question first. Um, it has uh, been our view and policy from day one when it comes to Ukraine to do everything we possibly can to help Ukraine defend itself against this uh, Russian aggression. At the same time, uh, we have neither supported nor enabled strikes by Ukraine outside uh, of its territory. Uh, with regard to arm transfers, look, I think it's very important to put this in its proper perspective and to understand what we're talking about. First, we have a long-standing commitment to Israel's security and to helping ensure its ability to defend itself. Putin's bloody harvest in Bashkortostan, Russia. They could be just living their lives. But instead, they went straight into the meat grinder. Russian security services said they had seized icons with explosives at a checkpoint in the Puskov region. The detained man was reportedly carrying the icons from Ukraine to Moscow in transit through EU countries. A total of 27 self-made bomb icons were seized. Hexogen was allegedly hidden inside.
положено специально, чтобы оно не болталось. Это не ходило, что там. Russian blogger Pavel Parfionov, known for the slogan, the Russians are coming, is unsuccessfully trying to demobilize due to health reasons. He was mobilized by Putin's decree in 2022 and actively supported the Russian invasion of Ukraine, recording patriotic videos and criticizing those who left Russia. Parfionov was wounded at the front and living in field conditions aggravated his chronic illnesses. According to him, he was refused full treatment at the hospital. Parfionov recorded a video message and was detained for it. Мне сегодня отказали в лечении. На данный момент гноятся ноги, потрескались все руки. Повестка, военкомат. Прибыть до лечения. Сегодня с утра ко мне пришли и вручили повестку. Я горжусь тем, что я русский. Русские никогда не были трусными. Нам дают понять что мы в своей стране ничего не значим. И за любое видео, в том числе за это, меня, скорее всего, вызовут в прокуратуру. Вот увезли товарища за то, что пожаловался на медику. Русские идут. Мы победим однозначно. And for the end, 7.5 magnitude earthquake strikes Taiwan, rocking the whole island and even causing several buildings to collapse. The earthquake triggered a tsunami warning of up to 10 feet from Japan. Tsunami is coming. Please evacuate immediately. Do not stop. Do not go back, said an NHK anchor. The city of Hualien on the east coast of Taiwan appeared to sustain significant damage. The city was near the epicenter of the earthquake. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.